it's another edition of Made by Jay, where I cook things that I like, cook things that I'm always making at home, things that hopefully you vibe with. And today we're making pop, maize meal. Uh, we're doing it in three different ways. I love pop. I'm married to a Tswana woman. We eat a lot of pop at home. Pop is rice. And as South Africans, we also vibe a lot with pop. We eat it all in different ways. Matter of fact, with my travels with Mikasa going through Africa, you see how many different ways pop can be made. Uh, I'm gonna do it in three different ways that have something to do with my life. So we are gonna start by making probably my favorite way of eating maize in the morning for winter in a bowl of porridge. Let me show you how I make my porridge. Three uh, cups of water, boiling water, a little pinch of salt, and then this is really up to you, cinnamon stick or some fresh cinnamon just to give that water a bit of flavor. The reason behind this is in Portugal, like we eat a lot of cinnamon in our coffee and the smell that I just got now just takes me right back to home and in porridge, I really love it. So I really feel like it infuses a lot of flavor from the get-go. Another important thing is with the breakfast porridge, I've got um, a little bit of maize here, a cup of water, and we're gonna go in there into a cup of cold water, and we're just gonna stir that so that we avoid having any lumps in our porridge. Boiling water, I'll just switch it off because I'm cooking on gas, and then pour that in, give it a stir. Switch it on and let it simmer. Cool. Lump free, let that cook. 20 to 25 minutes, check on it every five minutes, give it a stir and you'll see it come together. Pop number two. Pop, stable pop, uh, stuff pop, dry pop. I think of this pop when I think of meat, sauce, chakalaka and pop. Boiling water, we've got a liter, four cups of water. And then we've got uh, two cups of maize. And as it's boiling, we're gonna go in slowly and carry on whisking bit by bit to try and avoid lumps as well. Now we let it cook. Five to eight minutes and we'll check up on it. So low heat, let it cook 20, 25 minutes. My mother-in-law cooks it for like 40 minutes, really low heat. Just keep checking on it um, and let it do its thing. All right, homies, so now it's pop number three. Crumble pop, putu pop, whatever you call it. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty much the same sort of idea as the pop that we just made before, the stiff pop. We're just going with less water. Crumble pop is the Afrikaans name. Uh, we've got a liter of water, so four cups of water to four cups of maize. And we're gonna go in, it's boiling. Sorry, I'm not gonna forget this time. Salt, salted water, just to get that flavor in there. Um, and we're gonna go into the middle of the pot to create a little bit of a heap. And then we're gonna bring the heat down, lid on, and we're gonna let that steam away for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, so breakfast porridge, I've made before countless times, stiff pop, Bright pop, whatever you want to call it, I've made it hundreds of times. Porto, I've never made it. This, I'm being brutally honest. I'm gonna lean on you, Khabur, to tell me whether I've done it properly or not. So this has been steaming away for five minutes. And now literally with a fork, we're just gonna go in there and get it like crumbly. This is looking good, huh? Come on now. So this is what Grimmel Pup is, the crumbly porridge. And this is also quite a versatile South African staple. Like you can have this as breakfast, you can have this at a braai, you can have this with amasi, um, you can have this with butter. Um, also very, just a different variant of pup. Let it steam, low heat, another 20 minutes. Cool, so we've got our pup done three different ways, breakfast, lunch braai, Putsu can be breakfast, can be braai, can be dinner, can be midday snack. And now the next thing is what do we put on top of it? What, what, what goes with it? I'm gonna show you my favorite ways of doing it. So for breakfast porridge, we're gonna go in with a little bit of butter. You know, with a little bit of butter, 
A little bit of milk. Ah, a little sprinkle of brown sugar. And then that's, that's probably like very traditional. And then my little way of doing it. That's actually stolen from my wife. This is how she makes it for me. Spoonful of peanut butter. Now, stuff pup, braai, right? Gotta go with meat. So, a little bit of buri, and then what is stiff pop and buri without some good old chakalaka. And then the last one is putu, which apparently goes really good with inkomas. So, in we go with inkomas. That's me, that's made by Jay, that's pop three way.